Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're doing a full breakdown of the Frostpunk 2 trailers and analyzing every little detail, hint, and potential spoiler that we've seen so far. If you're hyped about this game like I am, then you're going to want to stick around as we dive into what the trailers reveal about the upcoming release. Let's get into it. So, right from the opening shots of the trailer, it's clear that Frostpunk 2 is pushing the limits of the franchise's storytelling and visuals. We see a familiar yet even more desolate frozen landscape, but this time things look even bleaker. The world is still trapped in eternal winter, but now there's this new sense of urgency with themes of revolution and survival hanging over every scene. The oil rigs seen in the trailer hint at how oil will be the central resource this time around, replacing coal from the first game. This could mean that our decisions regarding oil extraction will play a huge part in shaping the storyline, affecting not only our city's survival, but also its morality. The trailer also gives us a glimpse of factions, which seems to be one of the big new features. The way characters are shown, each representing different ideologies, suggests that players will be managing more than just physical resources. They'll need to navigate these conflicting groups. This adds a new layer of political strategy, and based on the tension shown between these factions, we're likely to see moments of rebellion or civil unrest depending on how you choose to lead. One thing that stands out in the trailer is the cinematic feel. The animation quality and environmental details are a big step up from the original game. The trailer gives us glimpses of the snowy landscapes and crumbling infrastructure, but what really grabs attention is the sense of scale. The cities look bigger, the stakes seem higher, and there's a stronger emphasis on how fragile your civilization is balanced on the edge of collapse. It's clear the sequel is going to be a visually stunning game, but it's not just about looks, the atmosphere feels heavier, more intense. Now let's talk about the characters. There are definitely hints that some of the new characters in Frostpunk 2 will be playing key roles in the narrative. The trailer gives us a look at what seems to be key leaders within these factions, each with their own agenda. We also get a brief but powerful scene that suggests some sort of military presence. This could mean we'll have to make decisions about security and force, perhaps dealing with uprisings or external threats. Something that caught my eye is the focus on moral dilemmas. The trailer hints at some tough decisions players will have to make. There's a shot where a character is faced with a choice between survival and ethics. This theme of morality is central to Frostpunk, and it looks like Frostpunk 2 is going to make these decisions even more brutal. The trailer teases that your leadership will have long-lasting consequences, not just for your city, but possibly for the entire world. Lastly, let's talk about the sound design. From the trailers, you can already hear how the soundtrack sets the tone for a cold, harsh world. The music is haunting and builds tension, adding to the overall feeling of desperation and struggle. So, what have we learned from these trailers? Frostpunk 2 is going to be bigger, darker, and even more brutal than the first game. With new gameplay mechanics like oil as the central resource, faction dynamics, and more complex moral decisions, it looks like this sequel is going to push players to their limits both strategically and emotionally. If you're as excited as I am about Frostpunk 2, make sure to subscribe to the channel because we're going to cover every update, guide, and breakdown leading up to the release. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.